I've been playing with the parameter that controls how many blocks apart does the maze generator calculate before having a, a fork. And it's kind of a balancing act. If you put too many forks, then they tend to be kind of short and, um, and easy to spot. And if you have not enough forks, they, they tend to be really long but you don't really have that much sort of um, the, the player of the maze doesn't get much chance to make make too many decisions so it's uh, it's tricky to know the best way to do it In this example, there's a setting of four so that every four squares there's a fork, which seems to be a reasonable compromise for this size of maze. The other thing that I would mention is the time-honored tradition of solving a maze involves working forward from the starting position, but also looking backwards from the ending position and trying to match those up. So the algorithm knows about that and will try uh, to make it more difficult by forking from the beginning and forking from the end in such a way that it's not so easy to see which way to go by just looking at the ending position.